Let's take a look at how to estimate quotients when dividing mixed numbers. Okay, which sign makes the sentence true? Well, since we want to estimate, we want to see if we can get a good idea whether 7.5 divided by 1 fourth is going to be greater than, less than, or equal to 6 without having to work the entire problem out and getting an exact answer, right? Because we want to estimate. So here's what I would tell you to think about. Remember, when you're dividing a fraction by a fraction, the rule is to multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, so if I was going to work this out, I would be saying 7 and 1 half, which normally I would turn into an improper fraction, but let's just leave it for just a moment while we're estimating, times the reciprocal of 1 fourth, when I flip it, would be 4 over 1. And remember, 4 over 1 has the same meaning as 4. So if I take 7 and a half and I multiply it by 4, my answer is going to be much bigger than 6. So I know that has to be greater than 6 before I even work it out for an exact answer. Okay, well this one isn't too much work because I know 4 divided by 2 is just 2, and 2 is much smaller or less than 7. Okay, 10 and 2 thirds divided by 1 and 2 fifths. Okay, well let's take a look at this. 10 and 2 thirds is really close to 11. And 1 and 2 fifths is really close to 1. So my answer should be close to what I would get if I rounded it and said 11 divided by 1, which would just be 11. So I think that answer is going to be greater than 4. Twenty-four divided by one-third, and I want to compare that to four. Okay, well remember, when you're dividing by a fraction, your rule is to multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, so if I had twenty-four divided by one-third, I would say twenty-four times. Now the reciprocal of one-third is when you flip that fraction. So that would be three over one. But remember, 3 over 1 is just the same as 3. So 24 times 3, that's going to be much bigger or greater than 4. Okay, 6 and a half divided by 1 and 3 quarters, and I want to compare that to 4. Okay, well 6 and a half, let's round that up to 7 divided by one and three quarters, let's round that up to two. Well, if I said seven divided by two, that would be 3.5. Now, I rounded this quite a bit because six and a half to seven is, isn't that that close. So you might be thinking, well, is it really going to be closer to four? We might want to do a little bit more work on this one. Okay, well, let's say we know six and a half. Well, if I turn this into an improper fraction, six times two is 12 plus the one is 13 would be 13 over two. And one times 4 is 4, plus the 3 is 7, so that would be 7 over 4. So kind of just doing some quick math here, let's see. I would multiply by the reciprocal, or I would flip this. 2 goes into here twice, 2 goes into here once. So I would say, okay, this is going to give me 13 times 2, or 26 over 7. Is that number going to be greater than or less than 4. Well, let's see. How many times 7 does not 
quite go into 26 four times, right? Seven times four would be 28. So it's going to be three and something left over, right? Three point whatever. But I'm not even going to keep going. Once I'm sure this is three point something, I don't even have to work it out exactly. That has to be less than four. Which sign makes the sentence true? Okay, and we're comparing three to 10 and two thirds divided by four and a half. Okay, well 10 and two thirds is really close to 11 and four and a half, let's say that that's close to five, right? We could round that to five. So 11 divided by five would give me two point something, right? Well, three is definitely gonna be greater than or bigger than two point something. Okay, and again, we're just estimating with all of these. Okay, we wanna compare four to 10 and a half divided by one half. Okay, so let's look at this 10 and a half divided by one half for just a second. Remember our rule when we're dividing by fractions is to multiply by the reciprocal. So we would say times two over one, and two over one is the same as just two. Okay, so four is much smaller than what I'm gonna get when I multiply 10 and a half by two, right? That's gonna be bigger than 20.